For the beginners and those trying to learn how to work with scripts, this is a guide on how to install, call, and set up a script in your scenarios. After downloading a script, where do I put the script? How do I install it? Any script that you get will always go into your scenario folder or your mission folder. To demonstrate this, we need to actually have a mission and I'm going to show you most efficient direct method on getting to your mission folder without having to search all over your computer for the exact folder. We're just going to build a tiny mission here. We're just going to place an unarmed rifleman and we're going to put down a drone and you'll, you'll see why. We're going to edit our character because we're going to need the UAV terminal and this will be for a script that I'm going to demonstrate. This is going to be our mission. Once you have a mission and you save it, so we're going to save our mission and this will put you on a menu maybe similar to mine here. I have folders set up for all, all the maps that I have missions for. So this is going to be script underscore setup. That's what we're going to call our mission. But once you save your mission, so once you have your mission, you have a mission folder, go to the scenario tab at the top, click on that, you'll see the menu open, and then go down to where it says open scenario folder. Now when you click that, it'll take you directly to your mission folder. Okay, we are in the scenario folder. At the top address bar here, it says script.setup.vr. That is our mission. That's the mission folder that we're in. If we click on this address bar here, you're going to see the path of where your mission is actually located and whatever script that you get will go into your mission folder always. We're going to actually create a script and then set it up so that it's going to be called in game. We're going to start up a notepad document and this is going to be just a simple code and we're just going to go one line down. We're going to put in a hint. This is very simple. This is just for demonstration to show you where scripts go, how to execute them, etc. So we're going to type in is sleep space five and then semicolon. And we're going to hit enter, go one line down, and we're going to type in a hint. So we're going to type in hint space quote, welcome to my mission. And exclamation point, end quote, and then semicolon. This right here is a script. How do we know? Because we're going to name it as a script. We're going to go to File, then we're going to go to Save As, and then from here we're going to go to Save As Type, click on All Files, and what you're going to do is you're going to locate your mission folder. Don't worry about naming the script yet, so for me it's going to be Missions, and then we're going to go to Virtuality, and here's the mission at the top. So we open that. Here we can see the mission SQM. And now we go to the file name. And what we're going to type in here is we're going to type in the word hint dot SQF. Now this is our script name. And once you have that, just hit save. And we can close this. And now you should see a script in your mission folder that says hint dot SQF. And if you open it, you're going to see the code that we put in there. If I start my mission, how does this code work? How does this script work? Well, right now it won't do anything because it's just a file in your mission folder. So what you need to actually do is there are a couple of ways to call that script, to call that hint in your mission. One is to use an init sqf script which is initialization script another way is to basically use a trigger so we're going to try both I'm going to create another script start up a notepad document just like we did before just hit enter go one line down and we're going to type in a code now what this code does it tells the game to call the script once the mission starts so what we're just going to type here is a left square bracket right square bracket space E X E C V M. Now E X E C are small letters. V M is capital letters. And then you're going to hit space, and then you're going to put quote. And what you're going to put is the name of the script itself. So you could either type that out, or you could do something like this, where 
you click on the scripts script name just to make sure you have it obviously it's it's a simple name but just showing you some tricks here and you can just paste the name and then what you're going to do is you're going to put dot sqf and from there just put a quote and then you're going to put a semicolon this is going to call this script to function from here what we need to do is we're going to go to file and we're going to save as set the save as type on all files that way you could see all the files in your mission folder and in the file name itself you're going to put init.sqf that's short for initialization so once you have that just hit save you can close this and now you should have two scripts in your mission folder this is our original script as we know this is the initialization script that makes this script function in the game now this is one method so let's go in game and test it out let's see what this script actually does okay we're in the mission let's hit play and let's see what that script does so if we look at the top right welcome to my mission that's what our hint script does it basically adds a hint to the screen after five seconds now if you wanted to organize and keep your scripts in a folder because you can add multiple scripts and call them they're going to be called different in different ways either through an INIT in in the mission itself so it really depends what kind of scripts you have but you could have many multiple scripts in your scenario and if you wanted to organize your mission scenario so you could locate everything because it's going to like especially multiplayer missions they can get cluttered with a lot of scripts and a lot of other files like pictures or other folders or what have you so what you could do is if you created a folder and let's name this folder scripts so now what we can do is we'll take our hint.sqf put it into the scripts folder we started our mission the script that we put in this folder will not execute because in the INIT the code here is not defined or set up to look for this script inside a scripts folder so what do we have to do we have to actually add the scripts folder so here what you do is in between the quotes and before the script itself you put the name of the scripts folder scripts and then what you do is you put a backslash like that that's all you need to do so anytime you put a script our script into a folder named scripts or files or whatever you want to name your folder then just be sure to define that name of where that the script is looking for because the game is reading this and saying okay execute my script but you need to locate it so if this is not here then the game says is looking for the script within the mission folder itself if you put it into a scripts folder like we did here then if you don't define that then the game is going to be reading this and without this it's not going to execute so we'll just save that and close it let's go back into the mission and test it all right so let's test the mission in five seconds welcome to my mission what we're gonna do now is editor based call where we call the script in the editor itself instead of an init.sqf so what we're gonna do here is we're going to open the init we're going to take this code right here and we're going to copy it press control C I'm going to close this and then what you're going to do is you're going to take I'll create another folder and I'll just put this script into it just to hide it this the game won't read this folder so we're just going to leave that as it is and we're going to go back into the mission we're going to set up a trigger we're going to set up a trigger so we're going to go to F3 triggers choose a trigger without a size we're going to place the trigger in the middle of the, and we're going to use the area widget and expand the trigger and create an area trigger basically just gonna make it big enough to fit inside the box then we're gonna edit the trigger we're gonna set it as a rectangle and then 
on the activation, we're going to set this as blue four present. Then we're going to set it to repeatable. And then in the on activation box, what you're going to do is you're going to paste that code. All right, so this code was from the init.sqf script. Your mission is not using the init.sqf script because we are calling the script, the hint script, from the scripts folder through an indirect means inside the mission itself. So once you have this, just hit OK, and let's save that, and let's test it out. Now just remember that in five seconds, there should be a hint, but there isn't, because the initialization script is what would call that script, but we're not doing that. We have to actually enter the trigger, which is in this box. Now, once we do call the script, the script does have a five second delay on it, so the hint won't be instant. So if we just walk into that trigger in five seconds or less, we should get the hint. Here we go. Welcome to my mission. So the script was initialized. We're going to name our drone we're going to name our drone DR1, DR1, and that's it. Now we're going to install a script called Drone Grenadier. We're going to go to a video. This video you may have seen before. We're going to go to the description, and we're going to download the script. So I'm going to click on Download. It's going to take me to Google Drive. And it comes with two files, an INIT and the Drone Grenadier script itself. So what you're going to do is you're going to click on the download arrow. And we're going to save this file. And we're going to save it in our mission folder. So go to missions, go to virtual reality, go to script setup and we'll save it in here. Okay, as you can see, the Drone Grenadier script is in here. We're going to open this script and move the init.sqf back into the mission folder. We're going to delete the new folder. So we're going to extract the Drone Grenadier script, we'll just double click it and open it. And we're going to move the Drone Grenadier script inside our mission folder. From here, there is a code in here that calls the Drone Grenadier script. So we're going to actually move it inside the scripts folder. And we're going to close this. You're going to see why. Because if you put it in the same folder as this, it's going to overwrite this and you're going to lose the code that's already in there. So we're going to go to the scripts folder. We're going to open this. And this is EXE CVM Drone Grenadier. So we're going to copy this. Press Control C and then we're going to delete it and now we're going to go into the init.sqf and underneath the hint script we're going to paste this code we're going to actually put the drone grenadier we're going to put this script into the scripts folder so what we need to do in order to make that script work is to add the scripts folder name to that line and put a backslash and we're set because now this grown grenadier script is in the scripts folder so we save that we'll close this and we can delete the zip file because we don't need it we have the scripts and be sure to put the script in here so now you have the scripts folder with two scripts in it and you have an init that sqf calling two scripts now, if we go into the scripts folder and we look at the Drone Grenadier script, we have to make sure that we define based on the drones that we want to use. You want all these to be nothing. And if you're not going to have any other drones, then you just have to have whatever drone that you're going to use and set just like that. So we named our drone DR1 and we'll save that and then close it and go from there. So we should get our hint in five seconds once the mission starts, and then we'll have the functions of what Drone Grenadier adds, the new features. So let's go into the mission and check it out. Five seconds, the hint script will be initialized. Welcome to my mission. So that script works. And for the drone, we scroll our action menu, we open the UAV terminal because we have one on us. 
and we select the UAV. We choose this guy, and here we have the UAV. Now in the UAV, for this particular script, we have a proximity fuse and we can detonate. Well, we don't want to do that right here, so... So we're going to fly away. And I'll go right about here. And let's detonate it. Now that's two things that that does. There's other drone functions and features, but that's basically it. I hope that makes sense. I hope that is clear for you. So you have your init.sqf, which initializes or basically calls these scripts to function. Now, as I've shown you with the trigger, you could also call the script from a trigger. There are other ways to call scripts, and these are just a couple of ways, but basically just keep that in mind. All scripts go into your mission folder. You don't have to have it in a scripts folder, and if you do put it in scripts folder, make sure that you define that where it's called so you have a scripts folder you could call it a files folder it doesn't need to be scripts it could be whatever you name it and uh, I'm gonna thank you guys for watching for more codes and scripts take a look at this playlist